What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. So today's episode is something that I spotted doing the rounds on the socials fairly recently and I figured it'd probably be worth doing a video on. It's also a pretty controversial and emotive topic so I'm going to try my best to break it down for you all. So basically what I've been able to find out is there's a competition that runs every year in Florida known as the Florida Shark Hunt. Boats pay an entrance fee of about $100 and then they head out into the water to catch sharks off Jupiter and West Palm Beach and there are prizes awarded for the biggest catches. Now recreational or game fishing is completely legal within Florida, but there are a bunch of rules that they're supposed to be adhering to. These rules are put in place by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, otherwise known as the FWC. Here there are fairly specific regulations on what species are allowed to be caught, how many each boat is allowed to land, and the minimum size limits for the sharks. Different shark species have different protections in Florida, but I believe in total there are 16 shark species that are allowed to be caught and killed in game fishing. Sharks on this list include bull sharks, nurse sharks, black tips, and spinners. And then there's a bunch of sharks that are prohibited, like hammerheads, sandbar sharks, lemon sharks, and tigers. The tournament organizer, a guy called Jason Warbird, although there's some speculation as to whether that's actually his real name, says that there's a specific reason that this competition is taking place. He believes the sharks in the area are too numerous and too aggressive, and he's citing an issue that anglers often cite in regards to game fishing, which is depredation. Depredation is basically when fishers head out to go and catch a certain fish, but then whatever's on the end of their line is either eaten or partially eaten, and more often than not, a shark is responsible. This happens all over the world to lots of anglers and game fishers, so it's not specific to the sharks in Florida. It's something that requires careful management by the authorities, and there's no one way of dealing with it. There's a bunch of different ways, but I'll give you my thoughts on that in a bit. Anyway, the tournament has been given the go-ahead by the government, and they have all the relevant permissions, legally speaking anyway, for this to happen. Now, here's where it starts to get a little bit iffy. If the shark hunt follows all the rules to the letter, then legally speaking, there's not really that much that can be done about it. If each boat only lands the maximum permitted number of two sharks, as per the FWC regulations, and there are 40 boats taking place in total, then that's 80 sharks. Some of you might balk in horror at that number, but as a scientist and a conservationist, 80 sharks is not really going to damage the population sizes for those species that much, if at all. That is, of course, as long as they are only catching the permitted species. If we're talking about 80 great hammerhead sharks, then it's a completely different story. So from a population perspective, it's fine. But then we're also thinking if the reason the tournament is taking place is to deal with overpopulation and reduce depredation, 80 sharks isn't really going to make much of a difference to that either. This is the bit where I start to think that's not really the reason why they're fishing these sharks. And then if you start to look at this from an animal welfare perspective, then we really start running into some muddy waters. Not all of the sharks that these boats catch are going to be landed, so what happens to the ones that they can't land? So firstly, the shark species that tend to not do very well from a post-release mortality perspective, which is how likely they are to survive, after they've been released from the line. Now, hopefully there are no sharks on the permitted catch list that have high levels of post-release mortality. And looking at that list, I can't see any really that stand out. Bulls, nurse sharks, and black tips all have very good survival rates when they're released from fishing lines. But the issue again here is that this is relying on the boats to only catch shark species from the permitted list. And we know that recreational fishing is a chance game. You don't know what shark you're gonna hook until you hook it. So the chances of catching a shark that has a high post-release mortality mortality rate, like the hammerhead for example, are still pretty high. Now there are some pretty harrowing images doing the rounds that I've seen online of sharks with horrific wounds and injuries. And these are being cited as a reason for this competition not to go ahead. It's entirely plausible that these images are from sharks that have been caught in the Florida shark hunt in years gone by and they are particularly brutal. You can see bullet wounds and knife gouges to the bodies of some of these sharks, which is just obscene. So earlier I mentioned that I didn't think the reason this competition was going ahead was to deal with overpopulation and depredation, and I think these images really highlight that. I think it's probably likely that these fishers are fishing the sharks because they like the thrill of the hunt and enjoy hunting and killing things. David Schiffman, an American shark scientist, literally did research on this where he interviewed every shark charter boat captain in Florida. And the most common response to the question, why do you fish for sharks, was the thrill of the hunt. Now you can all make your own conclusions about this. Some people like game fishing and hunting. Personally, I don't, but that's just me. I think the issue here is if the rules were being followed, then there's not much we can say about it. But if those images are true and people are shooting sharks in the head and knifing them, then well, the rules clearly aren't being followed. And if you're after my thoughts on this, if that's happening, then I wholeheartedly agree that this competition should not be taking place. But 
And here's the but. Recreational shark fishing as a whole is a completely different ball game, and I can't suddenly solve the issues surrounding it or sit here and tell you that it's wrong. Scientists have been researching this topic for years and years and are still trying to find the best solutions. My background in shark science isn't in recreational shark fishing, nor is it even in fisheries, so I'm not even qualified to try and solve it. Although the issues around depredation still remain, and that's how do you find a balance between having sharks, but also allowing people to go out and fish and not have their catches eaten by sharks. It's a tough one, but there are people out there who are trying to find solutions to the problem, and one of them is putting shark deterrents on your weights while you're fishing. People have started trying to use products like shark bands to try and deter sharks from eating their catches, and they've actually started seeing some pretty positive results. It's not foolproof, and it's not gonna prevent a shark from eating your catch every single time, but it's something, right? We did a little episode on shark repellents a while ago on shark bites, and if you wanted to give that a watch, you can click this link here. Another potential solution to this problem is allowing game fish populations to recover. If there are more game fish swimming around, then you're probably less likely to lose one to a shark. So perhaps putting temporary fishing bands in place to allow game fish populations to get to a higher level before opening the waters to fishing again is a potential solution. As I said, it's unlikely for me to solve this issue in one video, but I'm just spitballing ideas here. Obviously, this is a pretty highly charged emotive topic here and I've engaged with viewers of shark bites before who go out and fish for sharks so I know there's going to be a lot of different opinions on this and as such I want to hear all about them in the comment section below let me know what you think on this should this competition be taking place what should we do about the issue of depredation have you ever fished for sharks before let me know below and as always guys if you enjoyed this video please do give it a like it really helps out the channel and make sure you subscribe to the shark bites channel by clicking that big red subscribe button below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos until then see you next time